you've been through some stuff in your life, um, off the field, on the field, whatever. Um, what do you think your character can kind of help you through this moment? You know, uh, just knowing who I am, you know, knowing what I stand for. You know, I trust in the Lord, and I trust every process and everything that He brought me through and, and brought me here so far. So you know, I'm just continuing to trust on that, leaning on that, and just. Knowing that, you know, the storm's out past. In, in what way do you, if at all, have you kind of refocused um, whether it's the preparation on the field or whatever happened in the last week, just trying to show what, what's being asked of you, I guess? You know, just focus on the minute details, you know, um, just, just working on being a pro, you know, just trying to master everything that comes with it. Uh, you know, just continue to learn and just step into the ter territory and just whatever you know, they throw at me, just get ready for it. When you look at your process, what things can you look in the mirror and say, okay, this is what I should have been better in before and I'm still working on that? I'm not necessarily sure what, which you know one you know thing in general it is, but you know all aspects and just becoming a pro. You know uh, this is like my second year, like almost full second year, you know doing this. So I'm just still learning the all the ins and outs of it, and just try to follow the uh, best. Anthony, now that you're not, um, Chris, talk to you for like 30, 45 minutes. What were your takeaways from there? You know, they told me uh, they were going to go with Joe, you know, and uh, they had some things to clean up and just get better at. So uh, I took that and I ran with it. So now I'm just trying to focus on that. Yeah, he also said that uh, this morning he kind of checked in with you. Was, was that something you needed at all, or was it, I don't know, what you take away from that? Um, I feel like it was needed, you know, just to have the conversation and communication uh, between the both of us. But, you know, uh, nothing, nothing's really going to change. You know, still preparing as if I am a starter. You know, the opportunity comes, you be ready for it. How encouraged has it been to have the support, though, from your teammates here? Because everyone we talked to, they had a lot of praise for you, and they feel like, you know, you are still part of this team. You're still you're part of the future as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, even though I have a limited role now, you know, I still have a role on this team. You know, uh, they expect certain things of me, especially when it goes out there and uh, comes to practice. You know, I got to do certain things for them now. So uh, I'm just leaning more towards them, you know, leaning on them and just trying to do my part for them so we can win games. Z, you've had a number of opportunities to go up against this Buffalo offense. Your impressions of them, especially with Josh Allen and how much they can force you to be dis disciplined defensively. Um, yeah, I just think, uh, you know, he's playing at a different level this season. Um, just as, you know, his efficiency, his decision making. I mean, obviously, he's one of the best uh, quarterbacks in the, in the league. And, uh, you know, he's just, he does, he's missed to do everything for their team. So, uh, obviously, having success with them is, starts with limiting his production and um, his success. And, um, you know, I think we got an opportunity to do that. Certainly they can be explosive offensively, but with the performance that you guys had against Minnesota, especially shutting them out in the first half, how much can you carry that momentum forward week to week? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think, you know, the last few weeks, you know, defensively, we, we, we've started to put together a little bit of identity, put together a little bit of uh, some momentum um, building, you know, late in the season. Um, we told us ourselves we wanted to start playing our best ball uh, late no in November, late in the season. And I think we uh, we starting to come around to form. Um, I think we got to follow it up uh, with a great performance against a, a really good offense on Sunday. Kenny, you've had a number of opportunities to go up against Buffalo with Josh mm -hmm. Allen back there. What are the things that they can do that really challenge you to be d d disciplined as a defense? Discipline. That's the first thing I thought of was discipline whenever you asked me that question. A dual quarterback, um, he can stress the defense on the run and pass, you know, RPOs. Um, he scrambled to look down the field for the deep throws. He liked the home run plays. So um, just staying disciplined, plaster will be very, very tough and uh, being together. In preparation for that, how beneficial is it maybe that you have a guy like Anthony Richardson to run scout team and help you get ready for Josh and the ability of what he can do? I think personnel is always important, uh, getting ready for a team because uh, when you're seeing gadget guys and you have a gadget guy like Anthony Gould or um, bigger receivers to get you ready for Amari Cooper or other guys around the league, it's always important for you to be intentional with practice because you're going to see certain looks in a game that's very similar in practice. With what you guys were able to do against Minnesota, especially shutting them out in the first half, how much can you carry over that positive momentum as a defense week to week? Uh, I think more so identity is what we, we've been working on uh, this season. You know, getting off to a shabby start and then obviously trying to tighten up uh, around the, the rough edges. And so um, just having that momentum, the attitude, and um, the personality that we want as a defense, you just want to carry that over each game. Offensively, how do you guys uh, get this thing going in the right direction after what we saw last week, especially going up against a very good Buffalo team? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think we got to uh, take some of our um, short game and and uh, do that more, you know, because because we are kind of in a shot mentality, and and uh, you know, like we just need to be like more consistent, and um, um, I think that we're going to do that this week. 
talking about that defensive identity, how much of that maybe has been developed through being aggressive with blitzes and different type of different types of stuff over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, you know, I definitely think we've done a good job of attacking offenses, um, trying to get them, you know, off balance, you know, maybe breaking some tendencies to where, you know, they thought we were they were gonna get one thing and showing them something else. Um, but I think overall, I mean obviously getting the force back definitely definitely doesn't hurt anybody. Um, but uh, you know, I think um, it's just merely the mentality. You know, I think just the guys from, you know, myself, Grove, uh, Buck, Kenny, and Speed, and Julian, I think, you know, just the mentality that we brought out there to just continue to be the best, continue to, um, you know, go after the, the, the offenses that we plan against, I think it's made the difference. Pitt, you guys have had to go on the road the last month in some really hostile environments. Now being back home, having the opportunity, how much do you have to capitalize on having everything that you do working in your favor, being back at Lucas Oil? Absolutely. I mean, we just got to get back on track, and, and uh, that is best with a uh, win. So we're going to go out there and do our best.